Hi, my name is Brianna Garrison, and today I'll be presenting a PowerPoint on idiopathic hypersomnia. Many ask, what is it? Well, idiopathic hypersomnia is a disease that most doctors believe to be a neurological disorder, which causes the body to get too much sleep, which also may cause excessive daytime sleepiness. This is also known as EDS. Other causes, other diseases affected by EDS and the possible causes. The diseases are isolated sleep paralysis, narcolepsy, obstructive sleep apnea, restless leg syndrome, Klein-Levin syndrome, and the possible causes are depression, certain medications, alcohol, drugs, thyroid malfunction, and any trauma to the head. Symptoms of idiopathic hypersomnia are naps that don't help your sleepiness, if you wake up and you're disoriented or confused, if you eat a large meal or you're at work and your need for sleep increases, if you sleep for more than 14 to 18 hours a day, you may have a sleep problem. If you have digestive problems, that's one symptom of idiopathic hypersomnia, difficulty regulating body temperature, and if you have memory, attention, and concentration deficits. What medicines will help? Well, there's none right now that are FDA approved, but there are options that are not fully guaranteed. Your options are amphetamine, methylphenidate, modafinil, melatonin, levothyroxine, and sodium oxybate. How do I know if I have it? Well, there are tests out there that can be performed to determine if you have idiopathic hypersomnia or any other neurological disorder that you think you may have. For example, there's a multi multiple sleep latency test, a nocturnal polysomnogram, and in some instances, patients need to have a psychi psychiatric evaluation. Idiopathic hypersomnia with long sleep time what is it? Idiopathic hypersomnia with long sleep time is one of the more severe sleepiness disorders. This will cause you to have a larger amount of EDS on top of the already increased 10 or more hours of sleep that you will get during the night. With this disorder, it, is, it, still, it still may be difficult for you to wake up with the help of alarm clocks. Even after you wake up, you still may be sleepy, confused, or feel drunk. The term that doctors use for this is sleep drunkenness. With this disorder, sleep is never enough for you to feel refreshed. How does this affect me and my life? With this disorder, not only you suffer, but everyone around you suffers also. Your school, your relationships, your friendships, and even your job because of the many hours of sleep that you encounter, and it's more than the average adult. Most of the time, you will forget to do even the most simple things. You'll stare into space and possibly even have headaches. As a matter of fact, 15 to 25 percent of people may even experience headaches with this disorder. Will I get it? The normal age that symptoms begin to appear is anywhere from 20 to 30 years of age. It is severe and does not get better over time. If anything, it will only worsen. If you are concerned, ask yourself these questions. Am I sleepy even though if I slept more than 10 hours last night without any interruption? Has it been daily? And has it been happening for longer than three months? Will I need to see a specialist? Of course! Idiopathic hypersomnia with long sleep time is a very dangerous sleeping disorder. But first, make sure that there isn't any other reason for your excessive sleepiness, and then see a doctor. Idiopathic hypersomnia without long sleep time. What's the difference between IH plus LST and IH minus LST? Well, IH minus LST is the patient will get anywhere from 6 to 10 hours of sleep, 
This is also known as idiopathic central nervous system hypersomnia. Patients will wake up with extreme difficulty and the patient may also experience hypnagogic or hypnopompic hallucinations. Patients will experience headaches, orthostatic hypertension with peripheral vascular dysfunction, and this also causes ischemia. The naps leave these patients feeling refreshed. At what age should I start worrying about this disorder? Age that it first appears? In the person's 30s. This disorder doesn't get better, it just gets worse over time. Just like the idiopathic hypersomnia with long sleep time. How do I know that I have this? Well, ask yourself these questions. Am I very sleepy even though I slept 10 hours last night? Has it been occurring non-stop for three months? Are the naps not meeting the refreshing standards? Do I need to see a specialist with this disorder? Well, this disorder could be potentially dangerous. Always make sure that your sleepiness isn't influenced by something greater before seeing specialists. They can perform an NPSG and MSLT in the following morning. Are there any FDA approved drugs? There are no FDA approved drugs. Unfortunately, there are none for this or disorder, but luckily there are some stimulatory drugs that you can take to help you stay awake. Hope you learned a little more about idiopathic hypersomnia and other disorders like it. I enjoyed making this PowerPoint and I hope you enjoyed listening. Thanks for watching!